Okay, hi everyone. Um, so this video is solely for people using the Sonic Port VX. I, I don't know, I don't own any of the other Sonics, uh, the um, Line 6 stuff, so I don't know if it impacts anyone else. But um, anyone who tried to update to iOS 13 or above, I think it is, basically our devices have become useless. Uh, I don't know why, but the audio doesn't seem to come out. Whenever you plug your device in, you can't get guitar, you can't get the mic to work. Um, if anything, actually, it seems to freeze the app when I use it. So um, I spent a bit of time trying to find some sort of a workaround for it. And I'm not saying this is perfect, but I've, I've kind of come up with something that might be helpful to you. You know, these things, they aren't cheap. So it's a, you know, it's a massive impact for people. Uh, like myself, who, who suddenly can't use them anymore. So let me kind of go through with you what I've done. Um, I'm going to try and use it on my phone today, GarageBand. So here is my phone. I think it's a iPhone 7. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it says it's an iPhone 7. And it's play it's got iOS 13.3 on it. Okay, normally I use my iPad, but I'm recording on my iPad. So basically, as you know with GarageBand, if we change across to GarageBand now, um, Usually, when you use the the mini um, lightning cable, if I show you my quick setup, that'll probably be helpful, wouldn't it? So there's my Sonic Port VX. I'm coming through the uh, guitar uh, switch on that, and I've got it coming out. And I'm using the mini lightning cable. So hopefully, this gives you guys an indication of what it's like at the moment when you use Garage Band. So we're plugged in. Normally, I would have it set up, I'd have my headphones plugged into it as well, um, through the sonic port, and immediately it would kind of pop up saying to me, do we want to do some monitoring, turn it on so we can hear the guitar, um, <clears throat> this is what it currently looks like, as you can, in fact look, that's it, so <laughs> plugging in the sonic port has completely, there you go, oh, it's kicked in a bit now, but it had initially completely frozen, uh, it should be instantaneous, just bang, it would be straight in. Um, I've got the monitoring turned on, I'm on the guitar channel, and theoretically, we should now start getting the audio through. We're turned up, okay. We're plugged in, we're all set to go. And we're getting, as you can hear already, just, I mean, don't drop it on the floor, that doesn't help. Uh, immediately, we're getting absolutely nothing no registering of any input at all so i'm sure you've had the same problem as me um you know change your settings change whatever it doesn't nothing's coming through so <clears throat> when i looked through the bag of bits that your sonic port vx comes with sometimes i plug mine into my mac and you get the slightly chunkier kind of the usb into the i don't know what that is that thing so that one comes out the back of the Sonic port, and that one goes into your computer. And upon messing about, I found a bit of a workaround. I'm not sure where the thing is. It's there, isn't it? I found a bit of a workaround. I just unplugged this. So we're taking out the MIDI, the mini, sorry, USB lightning thing. I'm going to plug this one into the Sonic port. So we're going to go into the Sonic port, light the gap at the top. That goes in. And then you've got your USB end. Obviously, you can't put your USB end in your phone. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realise that. But when I started messing around with one of these, which is what I use for the USB on my MIDI keyboard to run in to my, my uh, garage band on my iPad, I plugged it in. I mean, it took a while to plug it in, evidently. I plug it in, and we should start to see far quicker... I can already hear it clicking in on my headphones. Okay, turn on the monitoring. Yes. Now, if I grab my... Oh, you can hear it straight away. Did you hear that? Straight away. I get the signal through. Everything's coming out. Um, I can't take the headphones off to use this, I don't think, unfortunately. I don't think it would work coming out of the speaker of the iPhone, but hopefully it'll record the audio on the phone. But... Works straight away. Let's check quickly, see if the mic input works. Oh, 
So we take out the guitar cable. We've got it in through the mic. We change to the mic setting now. And immediately you can hear it's coming through loud and clear. I'll change to the actual mic. Check, check. You can see it's getting a green line. Hello. Woo! That's loud actually, but anyway, it's working. You can see it's all there. I can't believe it. It was this easy. Just getting one of those. I don't even know what this is. Some sort of mini lightning to USB. It was six quid off um, Amazon. So hopefully that saves you, you know, having to go out and buy something new. Hopefully it saves you a few hundred quid. Um, if it works for you, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Again, that, put it in the comments because someone might be able to help you. This is just how it worked for me. So one more time, that's GarageBand. That's running iOS 13, whatever the heck that means. Seven, anyway, that's it. Hopefully it works for you. Cheers for watching.